Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dog Hood. In this particular episode with the Dog Guru, we're going to talk about something called panatonosis. So panatonosis is what is considered growing pain in dogs. So your larger breed animals like Great Danes, even Golden Retrievers as well can go through panatonosis. This usually happens somewhere between the ages of six months to a year and a half old. Your puppy or your young dog might be out having activity, hiking or running around in the yard and may come back in and start limping and be actually very pretty sore on their one of their front legs usually. It is more than likely the front leg rather than the back leg. Uh, you can take the dog to the vet. A lot of times the dogs will be diagnosed with your veterinarian as having OCD and sometimes the vet will uh, require you having a exploratory surgery. This is not OCD though. This is something that is very common in large breed animals. So when you are in the point of panatonosis, there are several things that you can do during panatonosis. Number one, you want to minimize the exercise that your dog gets at this point. No more than 15 minutes on a hard exercise daily if you can keep it to a bare minimum. You want to be sure and keep your dog crated as much as possible. As much rest as you can give this dog is absolutely the best thing for your dog. At this point in time, their hormones are at the highest they will ever be in their lifetime. So asking your new puppy or your young puppy, should say, to be still and in the crate for long periods of time might be kind of hard to do, but you really need to encourage this with your animal. This actually gives your dog time to grow and fruition upright. So during panatonosis, this is when the bones are actually pulling apart and mending, pulling apart and mending, and pulling apart and mending. So as the growth plates are actually getting solid on your dog, it does cause for soreness. Humans even have panatonosis in very large or tall people. So during this time, you wanna give downtime, you wanna limit exercise to 15 minutes at a time on uh, hard surfaces or even on the grass, just limit it to about 15 minutes of exercise. During this time, you can also feed your dog turmeric Turmeric actually is an anti-inflammatory, so it will actually help reduce the soreness in the joints. I personally use a product called New Vet Joint DS as well that I use to actually help increase the fluidity in the dog's joints. There is not a single vet that should be performing any orthopedic surgeries at this point in time on your dog because the dog is still in the process of growing. So if you can allow the dog to grow up to two years of age and he's still having limping problems, then you might likely have a dog that does have hip dysplasia or does have some sort of shoulder issue. But before then, just rule out panatonosis by giving downtime. Panatonosis might show up and it might disappear. It, the dog might limp and then after some rest, not limp for a couple of days and then start limping again. So this is something that you need to kind of keep an eye on, measure the amount of pain the dog's in. The dog will kind of tell you that he doesn't want a, the high activity, but at the same time with the hormones raging in him or her, they might very well just kind of ignore the pain, or if they get up in the morning, they might want to go out and exercise. When they come back, they might be really, really sore. So during panatonosis time, this can be happening between six months of age and also all the way up until the 18 month marker, downtime, put turmeric in your dog's food, give them a good joint supplement as well, and just let them grow up to fruition. The Orthopedic Foundation of Animals does not verify a dog's hip or joint health until the dog is two years of age. So I would not suggest that you go ahead and have a lot of surgeries or orthopedic stuff done until the dog is about two years of age when the joints have completely solided down within the dog. So at this point in time, once your orthopedist has recommended that there needs to be surgery done on the dog, that's an appropriate time to do those surgeries on a dog once the dog has finished growing. So if you have your dog out and you're trying to keep your dog in a healthy uh, exercise schedule, just keep in mind that panatonosis in larger dogs is a real thing at that point in time in a dog's life. So just be very aware of it and look out for it. Thank you, and we'll see you next time on The Dog Hood.